Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always, guys. It really is appreciated. And in today's video, I am previewing night one of the Premier League's dance from the Free Arena in Dublin. What a night it was. It had the talking points. It had the opening match between Sulevich and Whitlock with the high averages. We had the um, back issues with Gary Anderson, who was 5-1 ahead and ended up losing 7-5. And we had Peter Wright, for some reason, that was using totally different darts again that he used a few years back. Crazy, I know, but let's get straight into it. The opening game of the night see Mencia Silovic take on Simon Whitlock. Mencia Silovic, obviously a, a debut for him in the Premier League. He was on fire. He come out, he went into a 3-1 lead in no time at all. He had a finishing average of 103.71. But Whitlock had an average of 106.49. Few years out from the Premier League, he got back into it. Loads of doubters, including myself. Yes, I was a huge doubter about he should be um, getting back in. But he come back and played the darts of his life. They had 25 140s between them, uh, 3 180s. Um, did I doubt that Whitlock can play like this? No. I didn't, but could he do it again? I'm not sure, but he did it. But we can't get excited. This is week one. Next week, we see Whitlock is taking on Rob Cross, and we've got Mencia Sulevich up against Raymond Van Barneveld, and that's from the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. I think the match was good, but early days for both these in the Premier League. Tough matches next week. For the other video of this one, guys, please check out. I've got Sam, and I've got a Premier League preview show which you will see um, uploaded on Tuesday night so don't miss that guys. The next match of the evening we see Gary Anderson the Flying Scotsman against Michael Smith. Anderson I was worried before he even started is in absolute agony. We see it at the Masters last weekend. He's coming into the Premier League. It's a really busy schedule. I think he's pulled out of the UK Open um, which is going on at the moment. Um, he's, just, he's just not had a chance to get his back right. Um, by doing that yesterday. Hopefully he's going to be better for next week. He's going to need to be because he's against Gerwin Price. But let's just have a little look at the averages in this one. Anderson, after his 5-1 lead, ended up losing 7-5. He only had an 82.46 average. Smith had an 89.12 average. When they spoke to Smith at the end, it was a great win for him. He's got two points on the board. Last time he was in the Premier League, it took him five weeks to get a point, I think. So it was a great start. But obviously, as we all know, um, for us Dart fans out there, Anderson and Smith got a huge amount of respect for each other. Anderson, I think, sponsored Smith or helped him um, with different things, and he looks up to him. It wasn't the way uh, Smith wanted to win. He did get his two points. Let's have a look. So next week, like I said, Anderson has got Price in Cardiff in his home ground. A massive grudge match. Cannot wait for that one. Smith's going to be taking on Super Chim. Next up, we see um, Daryl Gurney against Raymond Van Barneveld. I was really surprised at this one. Gurney getting huge amounts of booze from his hometown. Um, we know that Barney, everybody loves Barney. People get behind him. Let's have a little look at the averages. Uh, Daryl Gurney had a 93.23 average. Uh, Barney had a 93.78 average. Gurney went into a 6-3 lead. He chucked this away, really. He should have had two points on the opening night. It was great to see Barney not give up. It was great to see Barney continue, not put his head down, and have the belief that in Dublin he could get back and get a point. He did get a point. Let's have a look. Next week, um, Daryl Gurney has got bully boy Michael Smith, while Raymond Van Barneveld has got Suljevic. So another good couple of matches there to look forward to. We then went into the fourth match of the evening. Now this one seen mighty Michael Van Gerwen against Rob Cross. The one we was all waiting to see. The one where I thought Cross might get a 6 all prediction. Did it happen? No, it didn't. In fact, my scores and predictions for week one of the Premier League were miles out. Rob Cross is miles out of sorts at the moment. Since he's won the Worlds, he got beaten against uh, Sulevich in the Masters. Um, Van Gerwen disposed of him very easily 7-2 this week in the Premier League. I think Corey Cadby beat him yesterday in the UK Open Qualifiers day one. MVG raced into a 6-1 lead. Uh, MVG is still the guy to beat. It's It's... It's just not going to change anytime soon, regardless of how much I've talked about it. 
another sale. He had a 100.8 average. I'm not saying cross played bad. He had a 98.85 average. But some of his darts um, and the way he was playing just didn't seem right to me. Loose darts. Maybe it is all the media catching up with him. I think he needs to get on the practice board, uh, get back to where he was. And, and just focus again. Let's have a look. Michael Van Gogh next week has got Peter Snake by it right, while Rob Cross is up against Whitlock, as I've just spoke about, who had that 106 average. So if Whitlock can come in and play like that again, Cross needs to get on that practice ball. Uh, the final game of the evening, my favourite player, Peter Snake by it right against Gerwin Price. Uh, huge talking point again. Why did Peter Wright change his darts? I have no idea. These are the darts he used a couple of years ago against MVG. I think it was in the final. I don't understand why I do it. I think recently that Red Dragon have created him some some amazing darts and he was getting on with them and and he's gone to these ones. Gerwin Price will have never, ever, ever had a better chance to beat Peter Wright. Even as bad as Peter Wright was playing, he had a 92.93 average. Gerwin Price had a 93.51. Wright went into a 6-3 lead. Had, dart, had Wright stuck with his normal darts, he would have ground out a win in this. There's no two ways about it. Gerwin Price missed the boat. Yes, he got a point out of it. Peter Wright's going to be sickened by it, but that was Gerwin Price's best chance. Let's have a look. Next week, Gerwin Price has got Gary Anderson in that match. Now, listen, guys, this is going to be epic. It is in Gerwin Price's backyard. Last interview, when they had the needle at the Masters, Gary Anderson said at the end of this video, if he can't beat me with a bad back, he might as well give up. Well, guys, this is going to be on this week. Gerwin Price is going to be able to... He's going to want to go there and he's going to want to rip Gary Anderson's apart. Gary Anderson, with his injury, is going to have to be on form because if he do and Price win... Is going to know about it and it will be the sweetest bit of revenge ever, I think. MVG, like I say, is going to be facing Peter Wright next week. Um, Peter Wright so is going to be facing MVG. So Peter Wright has got to stop messing about with his darts, find some he like and just play darts like we know he can. As I said to you guys, this has been great doing this show. My predictions last week were absolutely rubbish. But don't forget to check out mine and Sam's show video, which is going live on Tuesday night. It's Sam from Holland. It was lots of fun videoing, so please keep an eye out of it. As always, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this preview show. Um, as always, if you've not um, subscribed or left a like, please do so you don't miss any of the future shows coming. It's been a pleasure as always, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.